Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, I am going to show you how we can create a bootstrap form in our Angular application. As you know, forms are the basic features which we need in most of our websites or applications. Let's see in this video how we can create a bootstrap form which is responsive and very useful in our Angular application. As we are creating bootstrap form, before creating a form, we need to have a bootstrap installed in our application. If you are not yet installed bootstrap in our application, please refer my another video where I have explained how we can install bootstrap in our application. I have provided a link below in the description as well. Once you have installed bootstrap in your application, then creation of form is very easy. Let me create a separate component for this bootstrap form so that whatever the code we are writing that will be under this separate component. Now we have a bootstrap form here. Let's copy the selector name of this component and add it in the main HTML file so that we can see in our main page. Open the HTML file of the component which we have created just now that is bootstrap form component.html. Remove the content added by the Angular application. First, let me have a division where I will add a class container. So whatever the content or form we are adding, that will be within this container so that it will be properly shown at the center of our application. As we need a form, there is a tag by name form which can be used to create a form. Within this form tag, we can add the elements, form elements like input field, date picker field, buttons or anything which we want in our application. We can add those as elements within this form. As we are trying to build a bootstrap form here, we have a predefined classes in bootstrap which we can be used in building this form. Before that one, let me have a division for my first element. We have a predefined bootstrap class by name form group which have a predefined styles which can be used to build our form elements. So let's add this one class here. So the first element which I want to create here is input text box for the user to enter their full name. For that one let me add a label as full name. Then we need an input box where user can enter the text here. The type of the input will be text so that's why we have mentioned as type is equals to text. And as I said, there are some predefined classes in the bootstrap. There is a bootstrap inbuilt class by name form control, which can be used for our form elements. Then I want to add a message or some instruction to the user for entering this input box. We can use placeholder attribute to add the instructions to the user. I can add enter your full name. So now we are done with adding label for our first element and a place where users can enter their text here. So let's save this one and go back to browser. You can see a bootstrap form is created with a label full name and a place where users can enter their text or full name here. Let's add one title for our form. You can use headers and add title for your form. I will add a simple name as contact details. You can see we have a title here and the element which we have added that's been displaying here and the placeholder or information which we wanted to display that is being added here. So as soon user enter their text that placeholder will disappear. So this is a form group which we can use to add a form element like any input field or date picker or any buttons. Currently we have only one form element. To add another form element, copy and paste this form group and change according to your requirement for form. So the second field which I will add as a country. Similarly I will add another button and I will name it as city so that users can enter city name here. The final form element which we need to have in our application is we need to have a button where user can click on that button to submit their data. For that one, I will have a, another division with a form group. 
within this one I will add a button first button will be submit and another button will be reset so submit button will be used to submit the data to the server or any backend and similarly see reset will be used whenever you want to reset this form to blank or the initial state for this button I want to add some class so that I can make use of bootstraps class so that it will look a bit better I will name this one as button primary similarly for reset I will have a class button warning so let's save this one and go back to your browser and you can see here we have now three input fields and two buttons submit and reset buttons as I have used bootstraps classes you can see some good looking fonts and predefined styles are applied to our form and the form elements that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click on like button and share it to others